Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Tuesday. Uh, upper 50s today. It was partially sunny, partially cloudy. We did get rain last night and a little bit this morning. So, yep, enough to keep everything muddy. Keep everything muddy. Uh, I took a trip into town today. Chicken feed supply run, and I am uh, returning this uh, Ford truck I've been borrowing. So I, I wanted to do a few things for that, uh, put gas in it, and etc. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, I did some chicken shuffling last night, so let's talk about that. This is one of my new coops I brought up from the new place, and I had some. Uh, copper bronze hens in there and then I was testing other hens to see what color egg they laid but last night after dark we did some chicken shuffling so though that little group there those are all Easter eggers yes they are so they are new in here and he is new in here he's a blue copper bronze rooster and that uh, so he was with those hens and they've all been hanging out together uh, she is a blue copper bronze hen she was already in here and uh yeah she was in with the easter eggers also another easter egg over there and then this guy yeah i don't know if it was his lucky day or his unlucky day but he was in the fraternity boys flock and he is now in here he is a blue copper bronze rooster he is also from deer. yeah you guys were fighting a little bit but not too bad he's also from deer run farm in maryland uh she is a blue copper marons and she is a splash copper marons so i have five of these blue ones in here i have one splash one and i now have two blue copper marons roosters and then i've got a bunch of uh, easter eggers just to keep the hens and roosters all happy because if you don't have a good uh hen to rooster ratio the roosters uh, yeah yeah anyway so some of these will be available to Mama V at Possum Run Homestead. That's a cute one. I'd pick her. Um, that white one is, she lays a blue egg. And then the, all those others are like light blues and light greens. Easter eggers. So yeah, did a little shuffling. Now I'll have blue copper marons and all these other hens I put in here, none of them lay brown eggs. So when uh when one of my five blue copper marons hens or one splash copper marons hen lays an egg, I'll know it's one of their eggs. So I can hatch it and I'll know I've got a uh purebred uh some type of some color of copper marons. The thing with blue, um with blue copper marons, if you breed them, well, I'll start off. If you breed a black copper marons, there's Bob over there. I don't know what he's doing. Here's a blue copper marons. If you breed a black copper marons to a black copper marons, you get all the kids are black copper marons. If you breed a splash copper marons like her to another splash copper marons, all their kids will be splash copper marons. They will start losing the uh, the splashes. You can see those black splashes in there. When you breed splash to splash, they will start losing the splash. So they'll just be mostly white. But anyway, so black to black equals black. Splash to splash equals splash. But blue to blue, only half of the kids would be blue. 25% uh, of the kids would be splash. And the other 25% would be black. So by breeding this rooster and this hen and hatching their eggs, half the kids will be blue, 25% will be splash, and 25% will be black. So this is my, it's called a BBS, Blue Black Splash Copper Marons, and this will be my BBS flock, which uh, pretty much originated at Deer Run Farm. And yeah, so that's the scoop with these. Now I've also got these Easter eggers in here. Some of these will be going to Mama V, but uh, she can't have all of them. <laughs> so like the ones that lay uh, green eggs, uh, I can hatch those and they'll be olive eggers. Well, half of them will be olive eggers and the other half will lay some type of a brown egg. But the olives that come out will, will be darker, uh, darker greens. 
in theory I haven't tested it out yet but uh, I'll let you know in about seven months so yeah I don't know more than a dozen chickens were shuffled around last night and uh, so now I've got a flock up here and as soon as these daffodils are done blooming I'm gonna extend the netting out along the driveway there and they'll have even more space so I can put one big flock in here I do have another black copper marantz rooster that I could put in here but uh, I want to make sure I have enough hens to keep everybody happy what are you doing Bob you were following me around all last night when I was walking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with his chickens and it seemed like you were trying to trip me at one point man and I'm calling him big blue he's a big blue copper marantz and uh, yeah you are he they were fighting a little bit but uh, luckily this is not a breed that fights to the death so he's a uh, big blue and then this guy is not as big blue <laughs> he was in the fraternity boys flock right there so he's probably gonna try to get back in there tonight because out of habit but uh Dude, you gotta you gotta spend your first night with the ladies. Yeah, you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> she looked at me funny. Ah, uh, yeah, I had some truck cleaning going on, but the eggs are more exciting. At least they are to me. So this is my best egg uh, haul this year. Forty-four eggs plus two that either cracked or I dropped. I dropped one when it was cracked and uh yeah very nice uh one of my new olive eggers very nice and let's see and then this is the new flock i was just showing you that i put together i have uh five blue copper marons one splash copper maron so six of them and i got five eggs from those six hens and one of them is a really nice dark color so i like that one and uh that's probably a six seven on the scale and the others are probably fours uh, maybe a five so five out of six in that flock and then my other copper bronze flock is this one right here and i have seven hens in there and i only got two eggs but uh two nice eggs two nice dark ones and uh then this is exciting i have four copper bronze that pullets that are just starting to lay uh, no, three copper marons and one blue copper marons in there. So, uh, I got, uh, got one from each of them. Not as dark as I was hoping, but that's how you figure out, uh, what egg color genetics your rooster has by raising up the daughters and seeing what color eggs they lay. So right now my blues are laying just as dark, if not darker, than my blacks from the generation that I, uh, created and bob wants in on the action dude you have just been a royal pest for like the past week dude i know it's spring i gotta get fifi out of that house don't i so you go play with her instead of me all right bob uh we did some more chicken rearranging last night you want to go show them the the other flock where you were trying to trip me while i was carrying roosters around let's go look at that flock i do not see him the ladies must have worn him out we have number two's granddaughter, the white one. Number two granddaughter, the other white one. Number two granddaughter, the black one. And... Yeah, dude! You've got your own flock for the first time. Are you happy? That is number two's grandson. Uh, number two's daughter, to the left of him. And then that's an olive acre. And then this black one. She is number two's daughter, but she does not have the tufts. But she is all black, and she went broody. So she's got two out of the three traits that I really want. Broodiness, black color, and tufts. So she's broody and she's black. So I'm hoping by breeding her with him that we can add the tuft back to her and maybe get some black offspring also. So yeah, he is new to this flock. This is his first time, first day out of the fraternity boys flock. And dude, were you hiding up here all day long? I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you one bit. I just put you in with like a dozen, a dozen hens. I'd be scared too, buddy. 
All right, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> oh yeah, number two legacy flock. In another month, I'll be uh, hatching some eggs out of here. Not a lot of excitement today, just a trip to town and cleaning out a truck for the most part, and then several hours of chicken chores, which I have every day. Uh, it is baby chick hatching season, so every day, all day, is baby chick hatching season. Uh, I was at the tractor supply. They had an interesting assortment, uh, but they didn't have any blue or green egg layers there. They had some production brown egg layers. Uh, what else? They had some meat birds. Um, yeah, no heritage breeds. They had like uh, just the hybrids. Uh, so that was interesting. And none of them were Easter eggers. Uh, if you're in Arkansas or know somebody in Arkansas, I've got uh, 20 Easter eggers and green eggers available guaranteed to lay a blue or green egg. Uh, the father is a uh, white and true blue, a proven white and true blue who I've used for breeding before. Uh, he's about three and a half years old. And so, yeah, if you're looking, hit me up. Also, merchandise down below. I'm trying to fill up my gas tank in Boss Hog. <laughs> I just had to fill up this Ford. Now I got to do my own vehicle. Uh, but thanks so much to everybody for everything, and take it easy.